If it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice! It is August the 25th, 2022, and today the topic is the healer. I hope that you all had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. Uh, I guess the most significant thing is that I filmed a episode of God, Sex, and Love, the talk show. Uh, Talked with a group of single Christian men and heard their perspective about dating and being single and many, many other things. Um, Actually, I think we're going to end up having a part two of that discussion because we didn't get through all the questions that you all sent, uh, those that follow me on social media and whatnot. So, yeah, thank you all again for sending in questions. Um, We did not get through all of them, but... Uh, hopefully we will in the next discussion. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess it, you know, uh, it's a good thing to follow your girl on social media because every now and then, you know, I ask for feedback <laughs> and everything like that. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for me, Actress Miracle Sims. I might not be asking for more questions in regards to this particular conversation, but hey, you never know. You never know. <laughs> um yeah, so that's pretty much like the main thing that happened. I mean, you know, I tackled a couple of tasks. I tried to get rest midday because I knew that my um discussion was later on in the evening. I did not get to help out my sister last night. Um, I guess there must have been some type of um, you know, something happened or whatever the case is. So I guess maybe later on. I guess they'll let me know when we're gonna reschedule for that. But yeah, yeah, that's what my day looked like in a nutshell. It's Thursday, right? Thursday already. Uh, means I'm a day away from my little special weekend celebrations, you know. Um, I know I told people, or those of you all that watch live, I showed y'all in the after show, you know, what my weekend was going to be looking like, if the Lord's will. Um, I guess I can give y'all a little sneak peek if you're listening to me. Um, long story short, basically, yeah, um. My birthday is next week, and uh, so over the weekend, there's going to be a couple of celebrations that I'm, you know, attending, and like on Saturday, um, a friend of the family, we're going to be celebrating her birthday, and then um, we're supposed to celebrate my birthday on Sunday, and then my actual birthday is on Monday, but, um, and so I guess I'll be with y'all, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, it'll be a quote-unquote regular day, but, um, yeah, so that's that's the general plan. So if the Lord's will, I mean, I got a couple of little tasks. I want to give myself the unwind experience at some point. Probably going to try to do that on Friday, I'm thinking, because Saturday I have a hair appointment and um, get finally going to do something to this hair, y'all. Ooh, thank you, praise God for that, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, yeah, that's what the next few days is probably going to be looking like for me. And everything like that. So, it's got to be the glory, man. It's got to be the glory for seeing another year and another day and everything like that. And I'm looking forward to, you know, see what else the Lord's going to do. Um, I don't know if I would say speaking of, but kind of. I mean, you know, um, woke up this morning to the sound of my alarm. Felt a little bit tired, but I went ahead and got up anyway, you know. Um, and what the Lord saw fit for me to go ahead and get up. <laughs> and everything and so uh listen to the prayer meditation but unfortunately I don't necessarily remember much of it right now but I just know afterwards I was just kind of praying and everything like that and there's a few things that came into my heart and mind I guess like colors I mean I know that sounds random so I won't go too deep into that I guess because I don't really know what to tell you in regards to that or what I don't know, shut up, like pink, purple. I don't know what I, what it was, but it was like colors. And then, um, 
And at some point, the word healthy came into my heart and mind. So that's what I looked up uh, verses centered around. Um, I also ended up looking up the definition of infirmity and and everything like that. But I don't know. I, I more so felt led to focus on the verses that I found um, under the word healthy. And then eventually, um, you know, after reading the verses and writing down the ones that stood out to me, um, I ended up calling this topic the healer. And that is the inspiration for today. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Um, three John, one and two. It says, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that look, that's my prayer for you today. <laughs> Um, for anybody that needs that, you know, I, I hope and pray that that verse alone, you know, feeds your spirit on today and encourages you and inspires you uh, that, you know, hey, you know, somebody is out there praying for you now, you know, whether you feel like my prayer counts or whatnot uh, for whoever you are, um, you know, I guess that remains to be seen. But, you know, at the end of the day, um yeah, I think it's good to know that somebody is out there praying for you and everything like that. But um, again, if we just focus on what it's saying, to say, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. So, yeah, that's just that sounds like a, a nice blessing to me. That sounds like a, you know, um, positive words, you know, Uh so, yeah, that stood out to me this morning. And so, yeah, I guess I start off with that. And again, if you want to make it personal for you and whatever your situation is, then I hope that you do so. And, and again, feel encouraged and inspired. Um, I came across a verse that was in the midst of Matthew 8, 5, 5 through 17. I think it was verse 17. And I ended up going deeper and reading those verses. And um, I guess it goes hand in hand with the verse that I just shared because... Um, when you read that account, it is in the go deeper section for you all to read in its entirety um, on your own, you know. But uh, if I just kind of paraphrase a little bit what's going on is that Jesus was talking about uh, or uh, the centurion, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name of the title, had come to Jesus and on the behalf of his, uh, I believe, his uh, one of his servants. And... Um, and Jesus said, I'll come to your home and heal the person. And and then the gentleman was like, you know, hey, you know, my, my home is not worthy of having you. But, you know, um, with me in the position I'm in, I understand that I can give an order and it'll be done. So, you know, I, I believe that, you know, if you give the order, it'll be done. And um, and Jesus had said to that centurion that, you know, wow, I have not seen this type of faith. Um, I think in Israel, uh, that's what the verse was saying. And so, yeah, you know, that's why I guess maybe, yeah, that's why I feel a little, little bit bold to say that, yeah, I pray for whoever you are, whoever's listening to the sound of my voice today. If you are in need of a healing, yeah, I do make that first verse that I share with you all. Uh, uh, I'm proclaiming that healing for you. Um, so I guess, you know, I guess you just agree, you know, because if two or three agrees, uh, you know, God is in the mix, right? Um I, mean, I know I'm paraphrasing that verse. Y'all can look at what that verse say, you know, in its entirety exactly. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, every now and then, you know, and that, I guess that's why it's important who you surround yourself with. Um, I know I see quotes about that all the time, about, like, you know, uh, there were people in the Bible that were um, healed or saved or whatever the case is because of their friends faith you know uh the friends that you know drop down their friend through the roof to get to jesus the friends that you know help their friends get to get to the lord uh the mother that you know went to jesus on the behalf of her child and even the centurion going on the behalf of his servant you know um yeah there's power in that there's power in that and uh yeah, so that was a beautiful account to just be reminded of and, and read this morning. Um, but another verse I felt led to share was James 5 and 16. It says, therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another 
that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Amen. Amen. You know, um, this makes me think about my mom. And anytime I feel like there's some prayer needed, um, I usually go to her and say, hey, Ma, you know, can you agree with me or pray with me or uh, pray for this or pray for that? Um, again, I shared with you all how one of my members of the International Dream Team uh, asked asked for prayer. Um, he asked me for prayer, <laughs> um, to pray for him. And, and at the time I didn't, I wasn't sure, but, um, we did have a conversation after that. And I know that he isn't necessarily a Christian, you know, um, and everything like that. However, you know, so I'm honored that he would want me to pray for him, you know? Um, and so, you know, I took that so seriously to then get my mama in on it, <laughs> you know, and everything like that. And, um, you know, and, and in, in this season and right now, I mean, I know we feel like we're family. Like I call him brother. He calls me sister. He calls my mama mother. And um, so, I mean, I guess that just goes to show again, like how the power of prayer um, and the power of praying for others. And so, and I guess that's, again, one of those things to just remind us about fellowshipping with one another, because, again, how can we pray for one another? How can we, you know, uh, know if you are in need of prayer unless you tell us, right, unless you let somebody know? And so, um, yeah, I hope that you can, you know, encourage and inspire to hear that this morning as well. You know, you don't have to deal with issues and things alone, you know, at the end of the day, um, yeah, I mean, two or three gathering in his name, he's in the midst. As well as, you know, um, there's verses that tell us to go to the elders of the church, let people lay hands on you, whatever the case is. Now, probably not everybody, probably not everybody, probably the Bible believing people. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it says here again, the prayer of a righteous person has great, has great power. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful thing to be reminded of this morning as well. James 5 and 15, it says, and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he, uh, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. So, you know, not only can you be healed, but you can be forgiven of your sins according to the, to the word. So, um, again, something else to keep in mind, you know, uh, yeah, praying for yourself, praying for others, and um, praying for your healings out here. Uh, let me see. First Peter 2 and 24, it says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might be to sin, excuse me, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness by his wounds. You have been healed. So at the end of the day, you know, in that day before Jesus went to the cross, yeah, the people were coming to him and were bringing people to him and everything like that. But then when Jesus did what he did on the cross, he did that for, for all things, right? For the sins, for healing, for all, for all those different things. And so, uh, yeah, by his wounds, we are healed. And um, I guess at the end of the day, it's, it's, you know, do you believe that? Do you believe that? Because then if you do... Uh, then you would exercise these things that are being shared today. You know, you would exercise your faith and, and pray. You know, you would exercise your faith and come together and confess to uh, to other believers and, and uh, come to the elders of the church for prayer and for people to come into agreement with you on your healing and the, the freedom from sins and everything like that. I mean, you guys can go deeper and check out the verses in the Go Deeper section because there are plenty of them to encourage and inspire you all on today. But uh, the Bible verse of today is Proverbs 12 and 25. It says, heavier in the heart of man maketh it stoop. Or oh, excuse me, heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop. But a good word maketh it glad. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration and juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. And again, y'all know that tomorrow is Friday. So that means that we have a new episode of God, Sex, and Love, the talk show that will be going live at 7. It's going to be uh, a chat with Miss Susie Hayes. 
lovely, lovely lady. So I hope that you all tune in tomorrow and hear more about her and her life coaching services and, and much, much more. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and be healed in the name of Jesus. I pray that for anybody that needs that. And, um, yeah, and I hope that these things encourage you and inspire you today. Go deeper. Go deeper if that's something that you all need to do. All righty. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. I'm Nyla O'Neill with Anchor Providing Institute. We're located at 737 South Hill Street in Griffin, Georgia. Look, this program was birthed out of the will to help and push you closer to your dream, customizing each and every learning path for each and every student, giving you hands-on education um, with myself and, and other teammates. We're here to help you and drive you to be the best version of yourself. Look, we're a 12-week program, and it will be vigorous, but it will be worth the work. Put the work in, you will see it in the end. We are dedicated to seeing you not only finish our program, but to get certified. We are an accredited school through the National Phlebotomy Solutions, and we are so ready to meet each and every one of you.